Okay, I'm still on the diet kick, so I'm gonna talk about more nutrition stuff. On this one, I'm gonna talk about food allergies and sensitivities. And those are actually two different things. People can have a peanut allergy, and that can be, you know, life or death serious, or a shellfish allergy. Uh, kind of a, a more subtle, but sometimes just as uh, damaging thing is a food sensitivity. And that's something where, you know, maybe a certain ingredient or a certain type of food you don't necessarily have a serious allergic reaction to, but your body just doesn't like it and it responds negatively to it. Maybe you feel bloated or lethargic. You could have any number of outcomes when you intake this food. And what we're starting to find out is that probably most people have some food allergy or sensitivity and it's undiagnosed. A lot of people will go, with, you know, most of their life not realizing that they could be, you know, maybe uh, allergic or sensitive to some kinds of ingredients, but it's in these foods and they just know that I just don't feel right after I eat certain meals. It's, but it's not really until you do something that's called an elimination, elimination diet or even a food journal where you get very specific and writing down every single thing that you ate, how you felt before the meal, during the meal, and after the meal. It's tedious and it's annoying, <clears throat> but if you have if you have some chronic issue and you just can't get it figured out, you've gone to different physicians and you just don't know why you always feel tired or where you always have a stuffy nose or why your stomach just never feels right, your gut never feels right, you might have an undiagnosed food sensitivity or allergy. So you can go to a professional and they can walk you through the steps of maybe trying to figure this out, but doing an elimination diet or a food journal is two of the easier things that you can do on your own that you might start to uncover and this can change a person's life because if you if you have this sensitivity to a certain food item and you eat it you're constantly bringing in basically a toxic uh toxic um thing into your system your system doesn't like it whether it's your gut or something it's causing damage and so it's hurting your energy it, you could have a skin reaction you could have just you know general allergies there's a lot of different ways your body can react to this, but it can be powerful. When you figure out what this is and you remove it from your diet, your life can change for the better. So I definitely encourage people, if you've, if you've just got something that you don't feel right, maybe it's not super bad, like I said, a, a peanut allergy or shellfish, a shellfish allergy can send people to the emergency room. Uh, a low level sensitivity will just kind of make you not feel right. And you may not know exactly in what way, but you probably know what I'm talking about. If you know you have some kind of food allergy or sensitivity, like dairy, a lot of people are allergic to dairy. They don't, they lactose intolerant. You just, you know you're not gonna feel right. And then sometimes people, it's worth it. Like, oh, I just want some cheese, I want some ice cream. I don't care how I feel afterwards. But there's a lot of stuff out there that people can have um, a bad reaction to. So, uh, brunch later, bro. So I encourage you to look up the most common food allergies and sensitivities. And this is one thing I will say about the paleo diet. A lot of people had success on the paleo diet because it actually took all of these common food allergies out of your diet. And so a lot of people immediately felt better because all of a sudden they're not eating that thing that does them harm. Um, but a paleo diet is just a glorified elimination diet my, my belief is that you should then start to, re, this is how you do an elimination diet, you reintroduce one food at a time and then monitor how you feel. That way you don't have to take everything out. You might be able to reintroduce some of the stuff and then you just pinpoint the one or maybe two things that you know you react badly to and you can avoid them. And again, it could totally change your life for the better. So uh, that's all I got for this one. See you in the next one.